Chemicals. By itself, the word can be frightening. But chemicals help produce the food that we eat and the water that we drink. In fact, virtually everything that we use is produced with the aid of chemicals. But there is good reason that the word chemicals can put us on edge. Because we know that chemicals can be hazardous. Around the world, over 400,000 people die each year as a result of occupational exposure to hazardous chemicals. To help protect employees from these hazards, in 1983, OSHA created the Hazard Communication Standard. Now, for the first time since it was implemented, the Hazard Communication Standard is undergoing some significant changes. OSHA is incorporating the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, GHS for short, into the standard. And we need to understand what this means to us. This program will answer questions about the GHS such as, what is the globally harmonized system? What does the GHS change in the hazard communication standard? Why did OSHA decide to adopt the GHS? What are the major requirements that the GHS brings to the HAZCOM standard? And what are the phase-in dates for the GHS? Many countries have chemical hazard regulations. However, since they were developed independently of one another, there can be significant differences in how they work. The GHS was developed by the United Nations with the help of hazard communication experts from many countries and organizations. Its aim is to help standardize the way chemical information is provided anywhere in the world. The GHS is a logical and comprehensive approach to defining a chemical's health, physical and environmental hazards, classifying chemicals using definitive and uniform criteria, and communicating chemicals hazard information as well as the protective measures that should be taken when working with them.